Welcome back. This is lesson 34, session 2, our last lesson. So, we are on page 749 in our volume 2 math book, and we are finding and drawing a line of symmetry. Draw all of the lines of symmetry for each shape below. How many lines of symmetry does each shape have? So, again, the best way to do that is to put a piece of paper over this and like um, trace it and then to cut it out and then practice folding it. But from my experience, I know that I could easily fold this shape right through here and right down the middle here. So this one has two lines of symmetry. On this one, I'm going to first give you the tricky ones right here, folding it in half and the other way, folding it in half. Then we can take it down the middle and down the middle going this way. So this one has one, two, three, four lines of symmetry, just like a square. Let's go ahead and turn to page 750. Right here, it's telling you to picture it. It has it just with this one line of symmetry and then with this other line. For the plus sign, it's showing you just half of the shape because the other half is folded over on top of it. That's what the shaded blue means, is that the other half is shaded on top of it. We're going to skip page 751 because we've already done that. So we're moving on to page 752. We're on number 7. Circle the shapes below that have a line of symmetry. So we have to be able to fold it in half. This one is a little bit tricky, but if you um, trace it and cut it out, you'll see that you can fold it going this kind of weird way right here, because if you fold it over, these spots go right on top of that. This one we could cut in half right here, but it does not work to cut this way because the yellow line is off-centered just a little bit. On this one, there's no lines of symmetry but on this one we can cut it right down the middle. So we're going to circle these three right here. Draw all the lines of symmetry on the tree at the right. How many lines of symmetry does the tree have? Well obviously the easiest one's this way. We can't go that way because the top is smaller than this. Can't go this way because it would make it this side is smaller than that side. So this one has one line of symmetry. Now we're down here on the letters. The letters are kind of tricky, but you'll get the hang of it. Select the shapes that correctly draw a line of symmetry. This is obviously not right because that's a space and there's no space right there. The M, if I fold it over, it would fold over exactly. The S, if I fold this line over, it's going to be over here on this hump, so that one wouldn't work. The A, if I fold that over, it would fold over exactly. And the E, if I fold it in half, then yes, it would fold exactly. If you feel like you're getting the hang of it, go ahead and complete pages 753 and 754 on your own, and then come back and watch this video to check your answers. Number one, circle the shapes below that have at least one line of symmetry. Well, on this one, we can't do that way. Can't do that way. This we could kind of do... Nope, this way wouldn't work either. I don't think. Nope, that way wouldn't work. Okay, this one we could fold right in half. This one, there's not one. No, because that side's shorter than this side. So this is the only one. Number two, draw all the lines of symmetry on your quadrilaterals below. Circle the quadrilateral that has more lines of symmetry. On this one, it's kind of like a kite. It has that, but no other way really works. In this rectangle, we can go this way, and that way. It doesn't fold sideways, so this one has two and this one has one. That means that one has more. We're going to go to page 754. Draw all the lines of symmetry on each pentagon below. Write how many lines of symmetry each pentagon has. Okay, first I'm going to 
start with the harder ones. Start with these. I think if I start at each point and go down, each point is a different line of symmetry. So a pentagon has five points and it has five lines of symmetry. Okay, this is a different shaped pentagon though. It goes this way, can't do that way, can't do that way, and I can't do that way. So this one only has one line of symmetry. Titus draws a hexagon with six lines of symmetry. He says that all hexagons have six lines of symmetry. Use words in a drawing to explain why Titus's thinking is incorrect. So I'm going to draw a hexagon. Mm, let's make it like this. Well, that's not very even. Okay, there we go. And now this hexagon, it has one, two, but I can't do it any other way. So this one only has two lines of symmetry, but it is a hexagon. So that is why Titus is incorrect. Number five, draw the lines of symmetry that the designs in each flag below has then write how many lines of symmetry that the design in each flag has. Ooh, you can't do it this way because that's blue and this is red. Can't do it this way because that's blue and red. Oh, maybe that way? Nope, because that would fold over this way and that would be there. So the American hat flag has zero lines of symmetry. So the Canadian flag, we can go right down the middle. We can't go that way because that's bigger than this down here. So it only has one line of symmetry. That's it for this lesson. I highly recommend going ahead and completing the last session, session three, before you finish your activities for this week. Thanks for watching.